Clams can be an awesome rehab exercise or they can be a really poor choice for rehab exercise for you. All right, so if they're working, you should feel it in your big glute max muscle. All right, you should not feel it in the front of the hip flexor. So if you feel like you're doing your clams and you've been doing your clams and you've been doing your clams and you're doing clams and you're not getting any better and you feel like well, all I feel is this hip flexor muscle working, that's not what clams should be working, okay? Clams are a glute max exercise. They work your glute max. They work those other deep hip rotators. So if you're just not getting that with clams on your side, quit doing them, okay? And let's try this easier variation to help you uh, translate into the harder sideline one. All right, so flip over on your back, and you're just gonna give me clams here. Super simple, right? So you're just gonna open, giving me that great clam if you wanna make it a little bit more intense. You can give me a little bit of a bridge. So this is even more, a little bit of glute max work going on here. And just make sure when you come up for that bridge, you don't flare your rib cage out and over arch your back. So make sure you keep your ribs down, connected to your pelvis. You can lift a little bit and open for those clams. The other thing I want you to pay attention to is where are your feet? Okay, so try it with different variations. So have your feet out a little bit more. Do you feel that more in your quads? All right, we don't want to work our quads more for clams. We want to work our glutes more. So then move those feet in and try again. Where do you feel that more? Oh, you feel that more in your back or in your piriformis? All right, then move them back out just a pinch. All right, so play around with where your feet are. Look at your feet. Are they straight? Are they turned out? Sometimes when I have patients that have a tendency to turn a foot out, they'll be like, oh, it's just getting all this more piriformis tightness. It's really not getting that glute max. It's really aggravating my issue to make it better. And I'm like, oh, let's straighten your foot and see what happens. They straighten their foot and then all of a sudden they're like, oh yeah, I really feel this in my glute max now. So just pick your head up, take a look at your feet. Are your feet straight or are they turned out? So take a look at the alignment and play around with it until you feel it in the muscle that's supposed to be working. Because we don't wanna waste your time in rehab. We wanna give you the best fit for things that are gonna help you get max results. So give this a try for clams and you can even use it as a warm up. So do it here, warm up, and then roll over on your side and do your clams there on your side and see if that doesn't make it even a little easier for this TFL to be soft and squishy. You may also wanna do it against a wall because that might be part of what helped you feel it more here in your glute max was foot contact on the ground. So flip over, go against a wall, and you can try to do clams like that. So you're pushing against the wall because that glute max is also a hip extender. So if you push against the wall, you get that hip extension motion that then helps to turn on that glute max more. So give those variations a try and see if one of those doesn't help make these clams a more productive part of your rehab.